Hi friends, happy Saturday. It's so beautiful here today. Um, and I have to go get my Hannaford to go order, but I wanted to pop on really quick and do just like a little bit of easy peasy glam for you. Um, the reason for is, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, so these are some of my favorite products that I use just to like run out of the house with. All right, I'm gonna, I just washed my face. I'm gonna go in with Biohydrate Day Cream. Um, fun fact, so my eyes were all swollen yesterday. Hi, Susan, which is why I wasn't on. And um, I think I am allergic to nail glue. Hi, Kristen. I think I'm allergic to all glue, to be honest with you, like all adhesives, because I put nails on the other day and then my eyes immediately swelled up. It got like really bad. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Emily. Um, and the same thing happened when I used lash glue. So I think I am allergic to glue, which is a huge bummer because press on nails are the only thing getting me through quarantine right now. All right. So this was Biohydria Day Cream. If you are looking for a beautiful hypoallergenic, botanically based, moisturizing, non-greasy, lightweight, nourishing, hydrating face set. Biohydria is one of my faves. Okay. All right, so we are gonna do just a little bit of easy peasy out the door look today. I'm gonna grab my makeup primer. Makeup primer, Arbonne makeup primer. Best. We're just gonna push this into our skin. Always pushing up, get that lymphatic drainage going. I did that, get that gua sha, I always butcher it, tool. Um, the facial tool that you use for facial massage. So I will do another skincare video in the next couple of days and just kind of show you how you can use a tool to further kind of help the contouring of your face and fight aging and sagging and all that kind of stuff too. We're gonna have to cover that up, aren't we? What's everybody doing today? It's absolutely gorgeous here finally. So I'm super excited to get outside. All right, we're gonna use two different kinds of CC cream today. And, but the first thing is first, we're gonna let our primer set in a little bit because you don't wanna rush that process. Glow palette, this palette, deodorant, deodorant. Deodorant on, on a Saturday. Good morning, Kate. Hi, Tori. If you guys use chemical deodorants, I really challenge you to get one of these. These are the best. They smell so good. They nourish your underarm and they don't have any aluminum in them, which is dangerous to absorb. All right. We're getting there. We are getting there. All right, let's go in. I'm going to go in with medium CC cream for my entire face. So we're going to start with that. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm using the CC cream with pollution defense in it. So um, it has SPF 30. I'm personally incredibly fair skinned, as you can see. And medium is a little, just a touch dark for me. Light is my actual skin tone. But I'm going to go in with the light to contour and highlight my face with. So it's all good. And I'm using that because my skin is still a little bit dry from having that um, allergic reaction to the glue. So I'm definitely trying to be really nice to my skin. Eco Tool sponge, damp. Hi, Melissa. And we're just gonna blend that in. So CC Cream is a tinted moisturizer. It's like a light to medium coverage and the best. Right, here comes Mina. Hi, Bosh. Hi, Lud. Um, the best part about CC cream is that it's like wearing extra hydration all day long. So if you have um, aging skin, mature skin, super dry skin, this is definitely going to support you through the day. But it also has really great coverage just for evening out your skin tone. It's called CC, which stands for Complexion Corrector. So if you don't like a heavy, sort of more full coverage look, you will love this product. All right, now we're gonna go in. Oh, let me get this off. Blend it on my neck a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the light CC cream in a very similar way. 
I just put it on the back of my hand and I'm using literally the tiniest little bit. I'm not using a ton of it. And I'm gonna put this on my under eyes. Especially if you get fine lines increasing on your under eyes, you will love this step. You can also grab our CC cream in uh, Fair, which is even lighter. I've gotta get that, what glue? Um, what glue did I use? I used Nail Bond by NYK. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Like I've always told you, I have really, really, I'm like, I'm a delicate peach of a human. Like it's kind of a problem. All right, this is, just gonna blend this in with the flat side of that sponge. No, I'm, my eyes especially are allergic to just about everything. So I have to be really, really careful. Hi, Justine. And it shouldn't surprise me that glue would give me a reaction because who knows what's in this stuff. So lesson learned. I'm just gonna have to be an adult and stop biting my nails at the age of 35, honestly. That's just the long and short of it. I don't know, I've been a lifelong nail biter. This will probably be the hardest thing I ever do. Stop biting my nails. All right, I'm going to go in with our, I'm gonna set my under eye area with our Got You Covered Loose Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory. Um, and I'm doing that because it's going to really brighten them up. Hi, Anne. It's gonna really brighten my under eye, but it's also gonna set it so it doesn't move. It's really hot and humid here today. And by hot and humid, I mean 80, but with like 90% humidity. And if you're in New York last week, we were wearing winter coats and it was snowing. And this week we are in shorts and it's 80s and 100% humidity. So that's the beauty of living in New York. Look at that coverage from the Loose Powder Foundation. So stinking good. I missed it. Do you have a great primer for under eye to prevent creasing? Okay, um, our primer is amazing. And you're just gonna wanna push it all the way up to your under eyes. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you hydrate that with something like really good night cream, the Biohydria line. You can even put the CC cream and then you're gonna top it with loose setting powder like I did. And you're not gonna get the creasing. Hey Mariah. Justine, I can definitely help you. This is my go-to. Sometimes when I use straight concealer, especially depending on what my skin is like at that moment, um, my skin changes a lot, to be honest with you. Um, if, if I didn't get enough sleep, I'm gonna see a lot of under eye creasing. If I got a ton of sleep and I'm well rested and I'm well hydrated, and Justine, I'll shoot you over a message, I got you. Um, if, you know, all those things, all the planets fall in line, then I don't, but like, you know, I do right now because my face was super swollen yesterday because of the nail glue. So I definitely don't want to look like I'm a hundred years old. Oh, good. Anne. all right. So now we're going to go in with the glow palette. This is my spring summertime must have, and I'm going to go in with the shade meteor, which is right here. And we're just going to buff in some bronzer and highlight those cheekbones. And then we're gonna put it on our forehead. Like I said, this is not like a super sculpted look. We're just going to pick up the groceries. We're gonna be outside all day doing house stuff. So we just wanna look decent. And the other thing about this is I put it on and it's SPF. What did I miss about the nail glue? I'm allergic to the nail glue. Nail glue made my eyes swell shut. I have finally connected the dots that I'm allergic to adhesives because when I wore the fake lashes that day and I put lash glue on them, my eyes did the same thing. What trick works best for concealing acne? Our concealer works best. Here, I have a zit, random zit right here. I will show you. All right, so I'm gonna put a little concealer on that first and we're gonna let it dry. Just like that. 
We're gonna let it dry, we're gonna forget about it. You Technically, I should have primed it first, but you get the idea. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll go back to it. All right, so now let's go in with the same glow palette. I've used, see that's the funny thing, Anne, I've used dip and acrylic and all that kind of stuff since I was like 16 years old. So I don't understand why now, maybe it's certain brands don't bother me and others do. So like I use a different, I used a different um, brand of nail glue a couple of times and there was no problem. But I think when I use this one brand, there is a problem. Okay, so I was just using the shade Moonstone to kind of just warm up my face a little bit. And I press it on as opposed to like, remember wiping makeup? You don't really ever wanna wipe your makeup. All right, let's go do brows really quickly and then we will add some of this glow palette or something to our eyes. Hi, Kelly. All right, so I'm going in with light brow pencil. I'm trying to do it fast because I have to get my groceries. All right, so brow pencil on. This is the shade light. I'm just going for, like I said, a very natural kind of look today. Not looking for any like anime looking eyebrows. Nobody needs to be bougie when they're looking in the yard. What is all in that glow palette? Oh, glad that you asked. Okay, so this is Moonstone Prettiest Blush. Um, Meteor, which is like a standard, really nice bronzer. Then these are like, you can use them both as highlight shades. This one is a little bit more bronzy highlight and this one is a little bit more of a golden highlight. You can also use this one um, on your contours and hollows if you want to. If you want sort of more of a glowy, I mix those together. But I use this one straight up as a highlight constantly. There is a thing called dip flu, which is one of the reasons people wear a mask while doing nails. Oh, you're, you're a wealth of knowledge, Anne. Hey, Casey. All right, so brow pencil. And then we're gonna go in with the brow gel and basically set our brows in place. Hi, Annette. And I'm taking the little spoolie end of this and just brushing up and over. All right, so that was our light brow pencil. If I wanted more of like a deeper look or more of an exaggerated brow, I would have gone in with our medium, but I did just want like a nice kind of full brow look today. Why can't I? I'm having like the biggest first world problems today. All right, we're not using this one because I can't get it up there. There we go. All right, this is our medium dark brow cream. I'll teach you about nails, you can teach me about makeup. There you go, perfect. All right, so this is brow gel in medium dark. It just gives my brows a little bit more texture. It places them exactly where they need to go. And it kind of gives me like a micro bladed finish because you see the brow hairs better. It just picks up the texture. If you have like wiry brows, you're definitely going to want to use this product because I you know that they can be difficult to kind of control. All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to go back to the glow palette, I think. Why not make this easy, right? We're going to go to the glow palette and we're going to buff in that shade Moonstone to the crease of our eyes. Hey, Vanessa. Also, you guys, I'm having a, an event on Facebook on Monday night at 8.30. Um, there's gonna be all kinds of goodies and specials and giveaways and that sort of thing. So if you guys wanna get invited to that, just shoot me over a message and I can send you over an invite. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Rosie. All right, so that was just the bronzer shade. And then I'm gonna go in with the bronzer, the glowy bronzer shade in Twilight. Good morning, Vanessa, it's finally nice here. And of course I have to go do mom things like pick up the groceries, but that's okay. Cause it's nice. I honestly don't mind anything as long as it's nice outside. Why not? All right, let's go in with Speaks Volume Mascara. Hypoallergenic, it will not make my eyes swell shut. Praise be. 
I challenge anyone who thinks that they have the best mascara to try this because this is just head and shoulders above anything I've used before. I love how it makes my lashes really like separate so you can get the full effect of them without them looking like super heavy and coated. I hate that look. <sighs> Finally, hi Sharon. People are getting really itchy around here just for life to go back to normal. But like also this weather yo-yoing is like, I'm sure that you've all heard of seasonal depression, which is where you get depressed because, you know, during the winter it's cold and dark and you can't go outside. And, you know, we're basically house plants with more complicated emotions. But here in New York, when it's winter from like October to May, it makes things like seasonal depression that much more difficult. And I honestly think that with all this stuff going on, people just needed a little bit of literal and figurative sunshine in their life. All right, I just make sure I get the little baby lashes up in the corner. Love that. And I'm gonna take the lower lashes and just do them with whatever I have left over on the wand. Hi, Heather, my love. Right. So this has no um, eyeliner on it. Like I said, we were just going easy peasy today. I don't blame you. Honestly, if my entire family weren't here, I would consider moving somewhere south too. But especially with my mom being here, like I could not, I could not leave her behind. All right, let's go in with a little bit of the highlight shade now. We're gonna go in with the shade Stardust, right here. And what are you doing, Mina? Ay, 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 this dog. She is not a warm weather dog. She thrives when it's like 50 degrees out. So this is killing her soul right now. All right, Stardust. Just adding a little bit here to get that glowy look on the tip of my nose and right on my cupid's bow. And now let's go in with lip liner. Actually, let's do eyeliner in Morel, my favorite eyeliner Morel. And I use it as a lip liner. Hi, Crystal, what brand are you presenting? I know you used to use another company, interested to see the difference. Um, I'm using Arbonne. I used to be with another company and in January I switched. Thank you, Brittany. But honestly, you guys, the reason I switched was not for makeup alone. Um, the reason I switched was for nutrition because I was using Arbonne Nutrition for my day to day. And I happened to try the makeup. My friend Jenny, who was selling me the nutrition said, just please try the makeup, just please. And so I did, and I was so pleasantly surprised with the makeup that I decided to make the switch because it made sense for me. I love the bronze eyes. Thank you, Susan. Hi, Christina. All right, so let's just go in with a really kind of lovely gloss. We're gonna go in with the shade Willow Hazel. Lied to you, this is Hazel Gloss. And we're gonna blend that morel out a little bit with our finger. So you see when I do that, it just kind of gives it a shadow, which makes my, la my lips look bigger. Obsessed. All right, so we used a little bit of concealer down here. Someone asked how you cover acne. So I just put a little concealer on there. I'm gonna take a Kabuki brush with nothing on it and I'm just gonna blot it out and it literally disappears. You can also take a little bit of powder at the end if you wanted to and just kind of set it just with that powder right there. Gone. Easy peasy. All right, let's, what do we have to do? 
I think we're good. We're just going to the grocery store, right? This is fine. All right, so I'm gonna go in with setting spray. I never ever stop my makeup before I hit it with setting spray. Even if I set it with setting powder, I always go in with a refreshing spray. Amazing. It feels so good on your skin. It makes your skin look really glowy, especially if you're finishing with powders. It's going to activate sort of the mineral content of those powders and the glow that's in them. And it's going to just make it look more fresh on your face. Um, today, I just kind of wanted to go for an easy glowy look. So that definitely is one product that I never go without. I'll even throw it in my purse in like three o'clock if I was at work and I was just kind of feeling like I needed a little boost. I would just spray this over my face and it literally reactivates it so that's one of the reasons i'm so obsessed with this all right i'll take a quick picture and then i've got to go pick up my groceries um if there's anything i can help you guys with this weekend please let me know i will be around and doing all the things um i hope to be back on here tomorrow so if there's something you guys want to see more full coverage more dramatic more whatever just hit me up and i will make sure that we do that next so i love you guys have a beautiful saturday Mwah.